Hi guys, welcome back to Heart to Heart Talks with Anita Bahal. I hope wherever you are, you are having a lovely day so far. As you know, Heart to Heart Talks is about doing mental, physical and spiritual activities. Remember um, what I said, knowledge is great, but an ounce of practice is more important. So remember, even though you listen to tons of videos, remember to practice. It makes no sense listening to a ton of videos and then we do nothing about it. So on a lighter note, happy, happy Valentine's. I think any reason to celebrate love is awesome. And today we celebrate love. So I'm wearing my red, a vibrant color. Um, also decked off, making myself, as you know, happy. And of course, on a, a much lighter note, Yes, people be buying flowers and gifts and all these beautiful ways to express love. But I want to remind you today to not be forgetful. So let's see how this comes in into Valentine's. Well, on this day, it is so easy to be forgetful of all the small things and focus that, oh, I didn't get a lovely bouquet of flowers or the, the your other person that you were expecting were, was not thoughtful enough or making comparisons of other people's relationships. Be very mindful. You know, just to express to you in my own, um, in my own relationship, I have been married this year 25 years. It's a big milestone actually, and I'm very proud. But I myself never had a wedding. I never had a wedding. I never had a big um, anniversary party. I, my husband is not no big romantic guy. And sometimes before I definitely would compare or definitely want um, to be filled up, I want to say, with love from him to express it, to show it. And many times it's so easy to oversee all the wonderful things. So today I want, to, want you to really ask yourself, am I being forgetful? Now let me show you some ways. Does this person maybe drive you to work? Does this person help you with daily chores? Do you share the cooking? Does this, does this other half just make you smile when they enter a room? Do you love this person more importantly? Do you need this person to express love or is there a lack within yourself that you need to fill? Can you accept this person as they are? And you know, really, really look at all these small things. Like last night, I did give Safras a card, I must say. And in it, really looked at the small things, which are the big things for daily life. Like putting out the trash can regularly and in a timely manner. The way he would load the dishes after a long day. And even if today he didn't, he didn't express his love in any way that he had to spend money and go out his way and plan and and you know, have a, a lot of things for me, it is really the small things and it is me to remember. It is me to focus. So are you focusing in the right place? Is your focus on just one day or is your focus on totality? And remember, what you focus on grows. And many times the reason we become sad or annoyed, and, and I want to reiterate that again, is that we ourselves, need to be filled up and you cannot be filled up by a temporary bouquet of roses no yes it is an expression of love but if daily you fill yourself up with mental physical and spiritual activities and you find joy in yourself no matter what the other person does or does not do you would be able to be happy so for example um today I'm just happy that I am alive and I'm so happy that Safra has got up and he is alive. So whatever, if he brings me gifts or no gifts or, or didn't put a lot of effort or is not a, a big romantic because his focus may be other places, I definitely want to focus on all his strengths and all his amazing things about him, the way he serves others, the way he's kind, the way he, you know, he, he treats his kids wonderful or whatever, the way he loads the dishes, as I said. So today, be mindful not to drop into that um, comparison. 
be mindful to look at all these small things about your partner and remember today is a day to celebrate love it doesn't have to be limited to a partner or it could be a friend it could be your parents you know i find any day more reason to celebrate love celebrate it write a letter to someone you haven't um send some kind words call up somebody you haven't in a long time whatever it is if you think they love flowers a plant just just celebrate love and as i said again do not be forgetful because the most wonderful things are really in the daily things and the way we can live beautifully each day and each day sometimes it's so easy to bypass all the small things so again have a beautiful day celebrate love in your way and see you again on heart to heart love and light anita have a wonderful day